Little Bit of Haven was founded in 2014 to support families whose children are facing medical care far from home. Joining us are Candace Gagel and Heather Romerman from Little Bit of Haven. So this is, I mean, this is an important topic. Families, when you have sick children at the hospital, it can add up to be in a hotel night after night after night. And so we have Little Bit of Haven mm -hmm. to help families with that and much more. How was this all started? So four years ago, I was like you. I had no idea. You hear about people going in the hospital and you hear about you know, kind of them coming home and you know that we have like some of the best medical resources right here in St. Louis. Um, but I got to actually experience it three years ago when my son was mm -hmm. born. Um, we were getting ready to leave the hospital with him and about an hour before we left, we found out he had a congenital heart defect. Mm -hmm. And um, to be honest with you, I didn't even know what that was. And surprisingly now, I know one in 100 children are born with a congenital heart defect. So it's actually quite common. Mm -hmm. um, so we were rushed to Children's Hospital and um, what I saw was just, um, I think, is what a lot of people don't know is, you know, you go to the parents' lounge during the day mm -hmm. and um, no one's there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, but you go down at 2 o'clock in the morning mm -hmm. and there's people literally just like you and me, mm -hmm. just kind of trying to survive and stay close to their mm -hmm. critically ill children. Mm -hmm. And the hospital's doing definitely their part in bringing the best, best physicians globally to our city to heal our children. but. Um, you know, the hospital, it's not their job necessarily to take care of the parents, right? right? So when I left the hospital with my son, thankfully everything's okay. Mm -hmm. He's three years old now. <laughs> and he's fabulous. But I left the hospital. I was already part of this organization called Accident Mission Society, and they have a church right here at um, Kings Highway in Manchester. Mm -hmm. um, and it dawned on me that we were using the parsonage for offices, that you know what? There are families who are I, I found out mm -hmm. were sleeping in the garage mm -hmm. and just trying to make a go of it that I thought could really use, even if we had futons in every bedroom, mm -hmm. <laughs> just really could use a place mm -hmm. of rest. Um, and the, you know, the other issue is too, if you have other children, like I have two older children, I mean, I was lucky enough to be here from St. Louis, mm -hmm. but um, if, you know, if you're even from two hours away, how yes. do you care for your other children? And so people would bring them up in the weekends, but there was children running around all over the ICU mm -hmm. on the weekends mm -hmm. because there's nowhere to go. And where do you go and be a mom or be a dad? Mm -hmm. You know, and God forbid you're a single parent. Right. So um, we turned, we decided it, within six months, due to gracious donors, mm -hmm. converted the entire parsonage into a hospitality house, wow. um, and it's wonderful. Sure. It's not for everybody. You do, um, we do have a shared bathroom between the four mm -hmm. bedrooms, mm -hmm. but for those that are, are pretty critical, mm -hmm. um, they're extremely grateful. Absolutely. And, so. and you're talking about, you know, sometimes with children, their ho their hospital stays. It's not like five days or seven no. days. It would, might be a year. It and might sometimes be months, you don't know. And you don't <laughs> know. And even I, I imagine, too, with the families that do stay there, is there's sort of the having that sort of comfort and peace to be able to share your stories with other families going Absolutely. through similar experiences? There was a point that we had um, three really young moms. Well, we, we first got a, um, a call from a social worker about one single mom who um, was pretty young and had her baby in the NICU. Um, and we invited her to come stay and it was great. We got to know her, but she quickly spread the word to other moms. Mm. And at one point we had three single moms, you know, you'd open the fridge and there was all the milk. And <laughs> uh -huh. But they bonded and they, they um, you know, one had a car, so they all went together up in, in the morning to the NICU. And they came home at night all together and they kind of bonded and they were from all over, different all over. places. Um, and two of them ended up losing their daughters and uh -huh. um, they were the first people we were the first people they called, and then they were represented at each mm -hmm. other's. Mm -hmm. um, because it's it's a little bit of haven. It's a haven. It's a home away from home. And we're looking at some of uh, the photos. I want to actually go back to that first photo because that's the location. That is the building. Is that yeah, correct? That's, that we're, that's the building. That's right. the building. And so since 2014, since 2014, two years now. Yeah. Yeah. And Heather, really quickly, we're going to obviously get into a big fundraiser that you have coming up. But briefly, how can people get involved? You're always looking for volunteers. Is that correct? Yes. So we are powered by volunteers and they they do wonders whether it's just cleaning the house we don't have housekeeping or anything or just being a presence in the house because a lot of our guests that have come and stayed with us they need that support 24 7 and we had partnered with world pediatric project they bring in children from overseas oh. and we really need the volunteers to to be with them because they're not so much at the hospitals every day, but they are living mm -hmm. in the house every day mm -hmm. waiting for that next appointment. Right. So they stay with us for three months. We have a family, two families coming in the beginning of October who will stay for 
eight months. Mm -hmm. So we definitely need volunteers to be with them, take them on outings, help clean the house, help give our volunteer house managers a night off. Yes. Um, so there's lots of needs and opportunities. Okay. And, yeah. Well, we've got that information for you right there on the screen. It's the trivia night we're going to be talking about in the next segment. That's mm -hmm. a fundraiser that's coming up. But if you are interested in volunteering, go to littlebitofhaven.org or call the number on your screen. It's 314-549-8477. But we will have more with Little Bit of Haven right after this. Please stay with us.